All right, so this is a guide to setting up your Comcast email address. For most people, that's something at Comcast.net. Setting that up to work in the new Outlook. This video was made in the first quarter of 2025. So these things have a tendency to change over time. But as of right now, this is what the process looks like. I'm on a Windows 11 computer. Um, that is what, what I would recommend you do. I'm not even sure if this new Outlook is available on Windows 10. Maybe it is. But if you want to follow along here, you need to be on Windows 11. And before you launch the new Outlook, a really good idea is to open up a web browser and go to the Xfinity website and just log into your mail there. And do it in a way where you have to actually type in your password. The reason for that is we want to make sure your password actually works. Because when Outlook runs into some kind of a problem, it generally is not going to tell you a whole lot of information about the problem. Instead, what it often will just do is just ask you for the password again. And it'll do that whether or not the password is actually the problem. So it's good to just know for a fact that you know what your password is. So I would say start up a new incognito web browser session. Or if you're using Microsoft Edge, it's called an in-private browsing session. What that does is it doesn't it doesn't make use of any cookies or stored information or things like that. And basically go and log in on Comcast's website with your email address and your password and make sure you can successfully do that. If you can't, you need to resolve that first before you're going to have success with this process. Okay? So just getting that out of the way. All right. So when you launch New Outlook, if you don't currently have any email accounts set up in New Outlook, this is the screen you're immediately going to be brought to. If you do already have an email account in there, then you're going to have to find your way within New Outlook's menu uh, to, be, to be able to add a new account. And that should bring you to a screen like this, okay? For this video, we're going to assume that you don't have any other email accounts in there. You're just setting up Comcast. So the first thing that it's going to prompt you to do is type in your email address. So you want to type in your Comcast email address. You know, something at Comcast.net. Most of the time, that's what it's going to be. And then click Continue. So it's going to do a little bit of detection there and determine what type of email account this is. And from Outlook's point of view, this is treated as an IMAP account. That's just a method of, of the way that email is delivered to you. So you want to put in your password, the one that you tested, right, over on the browser. You want to put that password in here and then just click continue. Now, you could look under show more and you'll see some more detailed options here. But I can tell you that all of these things are by default correct. Like it, it detects the IMAP and the SMTP servers for Comcast. It detects those correctly. Outlook does. So you don't have to change anything down here. And I know the SMTP password prompt can be confusing sometimes, but that is, with Comcast email, that's the same as your regular password. That's And you don't have to type it in again. If you see, you know, this, this thing down here, enter your SMTP password if it differs from your IMAP or POP password. Well, yours doesn't. It's the same. Okay? So all these settings are that, that are revealed by looking under advanced... You don't need to mess with them. They're all already correct. So you can just click continue. Okay, and then it'll have you hit continue one more time. This is just an, it's a new prompt that I haven't seen in prior versions of Outlook, but essentially it's just wanting you to confirm. So just click continue. It has something to do with like some of this, some of your emails are actually stored in Microsoft's cloud as a part of the way the new Outlook works. If you don't like that, don't use new Outlook because there's no way to opt out of that part. Okay. Now, you'll notice this is taking a while. Now, sometimes it's just going to take a while. But if you don't get past this point, then there could be something else wrong. And I'm going to show you what I had to check on my Comcast email before this would start working. 
Okay, so if we go to the Comcast webmail and click the settings icon in the upper right, it's this gear. And then amongst the settings, in that menu of settings, you're going to, going to want to choose security. And under security, there is a section marked third party access security. In order for Outlook to access your email, this must be checked. Okay? And mine, by default, was not checked, and yours may not be if you haven't ever changed this setting. I'm pretty sure that the default for Comcast is that that's not checked. So make sure that box is checked, and then come back. You may have to forcibly restart New Outlook, and you'll go through the process again. Or after a while, it will tell you this message, like sign in failed, right? So once again, we're doing the same thing again. We're just putting in the Comcast password here. And then clicking continue. If you wanted to peek at the advanced settings like this again, you could, but you don't have to. They're all correct. I will say too that changing some of these settings in under advanced is probably going to it's going to screw up the whole operation and make it not work. So I would say don't change those. So then you click continue again. Generally, you want to give it a couple minutes. All right, so if you get this prompt, this is a good sign. It's just a privacy notice, but that basically means that the connection is successful, and now it's just the final steps here. Do you want to send optional data? I think Microsoft probably has enough of your optional data. That's my personal opinion, so I always say no to this. It's up to you. Click accept. And then once more, another little notice here, and you again, you just click continue. And then it's wanting to apply some settings from your Windows. It's usually a good idea to apply those settings. Okay? At this point, it is now setting up the local copy of your mailbox and calendar and all that stuff. And then new Outlook will be open, and you should be connected to your email. Now, I find it's a smart idea to send a test email is my first thing when I've connected this. So send one out from this account to someone and then have them reply to you. And just make sure emails, that's the best way to make sure emails work in both directions. So that is Comcast email setup in the new Outlook.